Cinequark. What's going on? Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a super simple light leak effect. You can do this pretty easily in about two minutes. Let's get started. All right, so here we are in Premiere. The first thing you wanna do is select the two clips that you want to transition between. In my case, I'm just using some stock footage of downtown Los Angeles at sunset, which I purchased from Pond5, so hopefully I don't get in trouble. Let's just select our first clip. Let's mark an in point, drag it a few seconds, mark an out point, and drag that first clip to the timeline. Then let's select our second clip that we would like to transition to. Here's another pretty shot of downtown Los Angeles at sunset. Mark an endpoint, drag it a few seconds, mark an out point, and drag that clip to the timeline. So now, as you can see, we basically just have a traditional hard cut between these two shots. This second shot, as you can see here, has black lines on the left and right. So let's just scale that up a little bit so that it matches the first one. Now this is where the magic begins. So let's go to the Light Leak Pack, which I provided a link to, where you can download for free. And you can just sort of browse through these and find one that works well for you. When making a transition effect, I like to find a light leak where at one point the color burn takes up the entire frame. That way it kind of hides the transition a little bit better. So let's use light leak number two. Drag it directly on top of our cut. That looks good. And then all you want to do is select the light leak layer, go to effect controls, opacity, blend mode, and you can sort of experiment with different uh, options here. Personally, I like to use either screen or lighten. In this case, let's use lighten. And there you have it, a beautiful light leak transition. Thanks for watching. Download this light leak pack for free by clicking on the link in the description below. There's 20 total, so you should have plenty of options. And be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date.